OK, you need to start by downloading the HTML website zip file, which can be downloaded by clicking on the link in the description below. This contains the files we need for this tutorial. Once you've done this, I suggest you download an advanced text editor. Now you could just use something like Notepad if you're on Windows or TextEdit if you're on the Mac, but the more advanced text editors have several advantages. For example, it allows you to easily flip between several documents at the same time using tabs. Also, it highlights different parts of the code in different colours to make it easier to work with. Now, if you're on the Mac, I recommend Text Wrangler. Okay, and the link is below, but this is the website here, and you can download that for free. If you're on the PC, I recommend Notab, the light free version is fine. Okay, so if you get one of those downloaded and installed, and then we can continue with the tutorial. Okay, so I'm going to open Text Wrangler and I'm going to open the initial code text document from the HTML website folder. Now, this initial code is pretty much the most basic code you should use for an HTML page, what you should start with. At the top, you've got some information about the type and version of code that's being used. It's some information for the browser. Okay. Now, this can just be used as a template for any page. We've got some standard tags which will always be used. Here we've got the title tag and at the moment we've got untitled document in between the opening and closing title tags. We're going to start by changing this. We're going to make um, a website for a garden maintenance, garden maintenance company, a very basic website to quick put together. So I'm going to call this Green Fingers, which is the name of the company. So that is the title. Now, if I go File, Save As, and make sure we're still in the HTML website folder, I'm going to call this Index HTML. The first page of every website should be index.html. If I save that, go to the folder, there's the file I've just saved. Okay, so we've used the initial code as the template, I've just changed the title and I've saved it as index.html. So now this is basic, a basic web page. If I double click to open it, you see there's absolutely no content in it, but it does have a title, the title we've just given it. Now let's go back to Text Wrangler and we need to paste in some content so let's open the home text document I'm going to copy and paste this now this goes between the body tags everything that goes inside the body tags is basically the visible part of the web page what the content you actually see inside the browser so I'm going to paste that text into that space. Now if I save and view this, let's see what happens. Now it's all contracted together, it's all a bit of a mess. So we're going to have to use some HTML formatting to sort this out. The first thing I want to do is get this into paragraphs you can separate text in HTML into paragraphs using the paragraph tags. All it is is literally a P, okay, like this. So you just have an opening and closing tag. Put one around each section. Okay, there we go. So I've put paragraph tags around each piece of text. I'm going to save this and view it. There we go. Now each one's gone to a separate line with a slight space between them. But 
all the text is the same size at the moment, we can't tell what the, dif the difference is between headings, etc. So let's sort that out. Instead of using the paragraph tag here, I'm going to use the heading 1 tag. Okay, this tells it that it's the biggest, the most important heading, heading 1. I'm also going to use heading 2 tag on this one. And on contact us, I'm going to use the heading 3 tag. Right, let's save and view this again. There we go. So we've got heading 1 here, heading 2, and heading 3 on contact us. Starting to look better already. OK. The next thing to do is to insert an image. Underneath the green fingers heading I want to put an image. So I'm going to insert a new paragraph and I'm going to write the code which will allow me to insert an image. So image source src equals Okay, and then we put the name of the image and the extension in speech marks, like that. Then we put the width, so the size of the image, so 320 height equals 240. close and close the paragraph as well. Let's save that and give that a go. There we go, our image now appears. Excellent. Now let's say I wanted to insert an email link here where it says or by emailing us. Let's add some code in to do that. So here I'm going to put in a hyperlink to the email address so h a, a h ref equals and then you always start when you you're putting a link to email address with mail to colon the address so it's inquiries at greenfingers.net okay so there's the first bit then you put the text that you want to actually be the link the bit you click on after that so the emailing us bit just want to make sure there's a full stop there and then we close this by putting end the A tag. You see we started with an A, we're ending with an A. Let's save. See if this works. Okay, there we go. So mail to and what mail to does is if I click on this it will open my default email application for on my computer. 